We begin tonight with Marina, who is addicted to books, romance novels to be precise. She says her unique addiction has taken over her home and her life. Desperate to kick her habit, she sought help. Alex stopped abruptly to pull her into his arms for another deep, hungry kiss. Marina has found a long-forgotten classic hidden in the second bedroom. She loved the feel of his hands on her skin. And this is just a tiny fraction of what she's read. Probably 40, 50,000 book. The rest of the house is much the same. I cannot keep buying. I don't have a space to put it uh, anymore. So a while back, she started renting books. Then the internet came along. I actually go on the internet, even free. You know, there's uh, thousands of books there. And everything she reads is romance. It is like a, a escape for me. So, you know, with I can imagine in the romance book, there's a handsome prince or an I'm pretty. And when there isn't enough romance in the English literary world, there's always Mandarin. And they do romance. Yeah, a lot. She can read one of these. In one half hour. I hope there's no pictures. I wouldn't want anybody at home to be. No, it's, oh, a, it's no picture. But there's some saucy bits in there. Yes. Mm. With all the hot and sweaty reading going on in here, hubby Erhardt says he's one lucky man. Is she romantic? Well, yes. I, I'm not going to tell her. Yeah. That's the R-rated version. We That's won't go right. into that. Right. But she's she's picking up a few tips from the books. Oh, she is. She is. Every now and then I get surprised. For some people, their obsession or addiction is gaming or gambling. For others, it's smoking or food, shopping or social media. But 59-year-old Marina Schumollers is a strange one. That's my wonderland, is an escape. I read until 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. Have you tried to stop? I try, but... It's really hard. It's like uh, when I wake up uh, in the morning, uh, four, five, six o'clock, and the first uh, thing pop in my head, I want to start read. It is a kind of addiction, like people addict to the drug or alcohol. I addict to reading those books. Oh, that's a good one. Her guilty pleasure is browsing and buying at the second-hand bookshops. Like a hound dog, her nose has sniffed out the romance section. Get this one. And there's good pickings here at Brisbane's Mount Gravatt Bookshop. Sounds good one. They let her read away, but many bookshop owners, she says, give her the evil eye as she often settles in, speed reading the books for sale. Oh, oh, I better leave, or should I buy this one, <laughs> then leave right at home? <laughs> yes, yeah, happen many times. Hi, wow. This bundle will keep her busy for a day or two. Here you are. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. See you next time. We'll do it. Thank be you. Long. Bye. Do you feel you've missed out on things in life? A lot. I want to do things with my husband, you know, go for work or um, learning new things like a, a music instrument, uh, gardening, I like. Uh, uh, books come first. The books come before you? Yeah. Gee, she seems so nice. <laughs> <laughs> but once she starts... Well, she's um, very unapproachable. She doesn't like to be interrupted. As we all know, reading is good, but Marina's extreme romance novel addiction has damaged her eyes and impacted all areas of her life. That's the final chapter when you read up to four books a day for 50 years. So you need a little help? 
That's right. And I saw um, your current fare all the time. And uh, I saw Mark has been helped a lot of people. Well, Marina, I've got a little surprise for you. He's out front. He's oh, coming okay. in. Hello, Marina. Hi, Mark. You come to help me? I certainly have. Come in. Nice Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How nice are you? Nice to meet you. Good. Are you ready to say goodbye to all the books? Yes, I do. Hi, Alex. So glad to meet you. You may friend. recall Mark you. Stevens from our many stories yeah. helping yes. needle phobics get the COVID own. jab, people to lose weight, stop drinking <laughs> soft drinks, lollies, all sorts of addictions or bad habits. Our mind is focused on whatever it might be we're addicted to and the brain releases small amounts of feel-good chemicals which make us continue to seek doing that behaviour. So he says Marina's brain needs to be reprogrammed. It becomes like a broken record that plays over and over and over again. So we need to reset the mind. One, two, three, whoosh. Close your eyes down now, close your eyes all the way down. You'll Mark sit. does hypnotherapy, meditation and aversion therapy. Don't waste time. Erhardt watches on. I don't think he's gone under. And you no longer have any desire to read a romance novel because you think it's just a waste of time. And an hour later... Don't feel like the reader. Marina, forget he's here. Are you truly saying that these don't appeal to you as much as they did before he arrived? Yes, disgusting. A waste of time now, yeah. Really, after all these decades? Yeah. That's how you feel? That's right, yes. I'm going to be ringing you for the next few nights and checking on you and making okay. sure before, even right up until this story goes to air and checking that okay. that's still the case. However, Marina, there is one book I do want you to read. This yep. is my new book that I've just finished and it will help you and others yep. break bad habits and overcome some of life's biggest challenges. That's great. Uh, I want to start to read a positive book. Thank you, Mark. Great work. Well done. Thank you. For the help. Oh, and she's deleted the book app and given the books away to charity. I really would like to have more time with her. You want her back? <laughs> yes, I want her back. Her heart's wish might just come true. Well, we've kept in touch with Marina since we filmed that story and she says she hasn't read one romance novel since. If you'd like more information on Mark Stevens, head to our website.